The Bell AH-1Z Viper is a twin-engine modern attack helicopter designed and produced by the American aerospace manufacturer Bell Helicopter. The AH-1Z attack helicopter incorporates the latest advances in military avionics, weapon systems, and rotary wing technology to provide a totally integrated weapons platform with the ability to locate and identify targets at unprecedented ranges, engage those targets with precision munitions, and survive both urban and conventional battlefields. History and Background The Bell AH-1Z Viper is a modern version of the AH-1 Cobra, the first ever attack helicopter. Since its introduction in the mid-1960s, the original Cobra has been constantly improved and upgraded. The latest AH-1Z Viper is a result of H-1 helicopter upgrade program that was launched by the U.S. government in 1996. The Bell Helicopter Company was eventually awarded a contract to deliver both upgraded and newly built AH-1Z Vipers to the U.S. Marine Corps. The Viper gunship was developed alongside the UH-1Y Venom Utility Helicopter under the same program. The AH-1Z Viper is a direct derivative of the AH-1W Super Cobra. It is one of the most powerful, capable, and advanced helicopters flying today. The AH-1Z made its first flight back in 2000. After many tests and upgrades, on 10 December 2010, the Department of the Navy approved the AH-1Z for full-rate production. Design, Technology, and Features The Bell AH-1Z Viper is an attack helicopter derived from the earlier Bell AH-1W. When contrasted against its predecessor, it incorporates various improvements and advances, including new rotor technology, upgraded military avionics, updated weapon systems, and electro-optical sensors in an integrated weapons platform. Amongst other advantages provided by these changes, it has improved survivability and can locate targets at longer ranges and also attack them using precision weapons. The AH-1Z is a tandem two-seat, twin-engine single-rotor attack helicopter. The drive system is comprised of a four-blade composite main rotor. The AH-1Z is equipped with a bearingless and hingeless rotor system. This has 75% fewer parts than that of four-bladed articulated systems. The rotor blades are composed of composites, which give them increased ballistic survivability. It is equipped with a semi-automatic folding system, enabling the AH-1Z to be stored more efficiently aboard amphibious assault ships and other means of transportation. The fuselage and other subassembly elements are all made of corrosion-resistant material. No two dissimilar metals of the structure are in contact. It has an overall length of 18 meters, overall height of 4.3 meters, and rotor diameter of 14.5 meters. The maximum takeoff weight of the helicopter is approximately 18,500 pounds. A number of improvements were made to survivability and crashworthiness of the helicopter. It is fitted with infrared suppression system, which covers engine exhausts, laser and radar warning systems, and radar jammer. It also has smart countermeasures dispenser with missile warning device. Avionics and cockpit. Northrop Grumman has the responsibility for the design, development, and deliver of the H1 integrated avionics system which includes cockpit displays and control, communications, navigation, external stores, weapon management system, and a central mission computing subsystem. The systems include two mission computers and an automatic flight control system with four axis stability control augmentation system. Crew members are also equipped with the Thales Top Owl helmet mounted sight and display system. This display provides a 24 hour day dot night capability and a binocular display with a 40-degree field of view. Its VSOR projection provides forward-looking infrared or video imagery. Manufactured by Thales Avionics, the Top Owl is the most technically advanced helmet available. It combines both avionics function with the aircrew life support and protection into a single unit. Engine and performance. The AH-1Z used twin General Electric T-1 
T700GE401 turboshaft engines, which provide a total of 3400 shaft horsepower. These provide a maximum speed of over 400 km per hour in a dive and a cruise speed of about 300 km per hour. The combat radius is about 230 km. The maximum endurance of the helicopter is 3 hours and 30 minutes. In standard conditions, with an air-to-air -air ordnance load, the Viper can take off and climb out at more than 4.1 meters per second on only one engine. It can hover out of ground effect at 914 meters with a load of four tow and four Hellfire missiles, full turret ammunition and rockets. With the twin engine, it can climb at the rate of 8.2 meters a second. The maximum cruise speeds of the helicopter are 388 kilometers per hour and 274 kilometers per hour respectively. The T700GE401 engine is the most fuel-efficient engine in hot-day high-altitude performance. Weapons and Missiles Armament of the Viper is very flexible. It is enhanced by helmet-mounted sight and display system. The AH-1Z carries about 2T of various weapons on stub wings. The Viper can carry both tow and Hellfire anti-armor missiles and is qualified to carry the Maverick missile. Typically, it carries AGM-114A, B, C, Hellfire and pods with 70mm unguided rockets. The Viper can also fit it with AGM-114F Hellfire anti-ship missiles, freefall bombs, including the MK-77. It can also carry two Fire and Forget AIM-9 Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missiles. These are mounted on wingtip stations. It was the first attack helicopter to qualify both the Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile and the Sidearm anti-radiation missile. The Viper carries a three-barrel 20mm Gatling gun for close-range engagement and 750 rounds of ammunition. With all of those features and capabilities, the AH-1Z Viper is without a doubt one of the most dangerous and lethal armed helicopter in the world.